Hey everybody, this is Stephen Casey Royal Fan here. Hope you guys had a great New Year's, because my New Year's was pretty good, even though despite the fact that I didn't do much, just be since, all because of the COVID-19 and all that stuff, but after, after all, I still had a great New Year's. So, starting off with the video, I basically have some new stuff that are basically I ordered off from Scale Trains. I have two new rolling stock, and I also ordered something else that's also from Scale Trains, that you'll see in a minute. So, I also... Up here, I have is a is a new box car. This is a Scale Trains Kit Classic box car. And when I first got this, I was actually very impressed that the, the local ones were, that the box car is already assembled, so I don't need to assemble it myself. So this is actually a different kind of box car because I noticed that the it has like a red body and gray doors. So I'll bring I'll show you my other one here. So here's my the one I have that I, that I got two years ago. I got this before I, like, back in the summer of 2018, and that was back when I, before I left for New York City for, like, a little family trip. So, that's that. So, I got that. So, let me move that out of the way. And I'll do a little bit of unboxing on this one. So, I'll show you guys it. So, all you gotta do is just, just slide it off like this, because... All right, and there it is. As you can see, it's fully assembled with the trucks and the coupler. It's really cool. And now we're just gonna just take off the cover and and there it is. It's really nice. Back to the way it was. And there you go. So, so it's a pretty nice car. I just love the fact how it says like second edition on the bottom. And it's got some pretty crisp painting on it. Let me zoom in a little bit. And a bit of scale train. Which is, you can see, I'm going to show you some detail. Very nice. And then there's the Scale Trains logo. Here, so let me just pull up my other box car again. Because I, because the cool thing is I noticed that they're, I think they're both the same road number. Yeah, 281910. So 281910. So both of them are the same road number. Just different cut, just different paint. So let me just show them above. You see? So there you go, you can see the, the difference between the two. It's pretty nice. Very good job for scale trains for on this. I'm actually I'm really impressed that it's fully assembled. Here I'll show you the bomb detail of it. Absolutely really stunning. Detail. And the top detail right is really nice. I'll show you. There's the brake wheel detail. And here's the other side of it. It's really cool. Oh man, this is actually a very cool looking box car. I really like it. It's really well done. I'm really glad I don't have to assemble it myself. So, there it is. That's one free car I have. So now let's move on to my other one that I have. Alright, so my second rolling stock I have right now is the Scale Trains Operator. The air slide hoppers, this is the GATC4180, so this is the BNSF for buffer service. I got, so the road number I have is, is 800-8171, so it looks pretty nice, so it's, it's a perfect car to use for like for the, for the tanker trains or just basically on mixed freights, because I've seen a couple of these BNSF buffer cars on mixed freights. So let me do a quick unboxing of this one, it's fairly simple. Fall out like that, and then there's the instru instruction manual right there. And then you just uh, you know, you just pull it off. And like this. I believe this is actually like a one of the, the recent releases of the air slide hoppers. So here it is. It's very nice. It's got I love the new love these black couplers they have. 
And the trucks basically do not rotate because it's an operator, because that, that's only on rivet counter. It's got some pretty nice crisp painting on it. You can see. And then there it is. Upper service, do not load. There's the BNSF logo. I'll show you the top. And then like the walkway areas is not see-through. It's got some pretty nice detail. And I'll show you the one side of it. Got some pretty nice crisp details here. And as you know, it needs like these little steps here for so you can buy you can get like kits on the kits to install them yourself. And I'll show you the other side. Absolutely very nice detail. And some pretty good detail wise on the bottom as well. Oh yeah. Yeah, I think that's a little bit loose right here. I might have to because I noticed this part's a little messed up, so I might have to screw that back in. So very nice. So that's pretty neat. I sorry. That's actually really neat. I got this one so I can be perfect for more tanker trains. Kinda think about bringing back more the tanker train again. Because I really like these unit tanker trains I see, you know, like such as like uh, you know, for like UP or some BNSF or even the CP, because I can, like, such as CP 574 or 575 or just a few. So, without further ado, that's really, that's really nice. I actually have two new freight cars that are brand new. So, we got this and the Scale Trains box car. So, now we're going to move on to something else I got from Scale Trains. Alright, so last but not least, also, what else is new? I also got a couple of scale trains containers. These are 40 foot containers. And then they're basically in the scale trains promo. So I got two of them. One already, I unboxed the one already. So so I'll just unbox. So here's one I have. It's pretty nice. I'll show you some detail wise on it. So you can see. There it is, scale trains. It's red. Some really good details. Now, oh, it's got some pretty good details on the doors and everything. So here's the bottom of it. Pretty nice. And the roof. Some pretty crisp, crisp everything. And yeah, really love the fact that the Scale Trains logo on the door right there. Looks really cool. So now we're gonna, I'm going to try and see if, how it fits on the, on the spine cars. These are my Walters 40 foot spine cars. So I'm going to test it and see how it fits. There it is. It fits really nice. So it'd be perfect because for these 40 ones, 48 ones, it's best to like fit like basically like 40 foot containers on these. So there's my little inner model train and also with some auto racks. So it's pretty cool. It fits really nice, really perfect, and I'm really glad that I got this. So I'll definitely think about getting like doing like two unit trains in the works, like getting back to the oil train and then starting the inner model again. Cause it's, I've just been taking like a little hiatus on these, and I just haven't had time to. And I've also been busy with like with the track work and buying new track. So got a lot of things coming up this year. So yeah, so that's basically it. Those are all the new stuff I have for. That I got from Scale Trains for the new year. Alright, so basically that's going to wrap up the video for all of the, the new Scale Train stuff I have that's new. And my first purchase for 2021. I'm actually, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm actually, and then also enjoyed the unboxing of both the Rolling Stocks. And yeah, I'm actually looking forward to continue to do more model rarity videos for this, for the new year and see how that goes. So, in the meantime, some good news I'd like to share with you guys is that my CSX3194 pre-order is finally paid. So, I'm really ex hoping to see that one coming soon. Soon, So, that's going to be my first locomotive for 2021. And I'm really excited to get that, even though despite the fact it was delayed. But, it didn't matter. So, I'll leave you guys with a run-by of these freight car of the new stuff I have in action with the, the containers, the... And two new rolling stocks in action. So thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys next time.
Bye.